Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you the journey how I made an island butcher's block and grain table and then how I had to fix it twice to recondition it. Anyway, before we get to that point I just want to share how the journey started. So uh, we bought a house three years ago and we had to redo the kitchen and because of my height I needed slightly taller, uh, higher worktop to make my life more comfortable during the cooking process. And uh, to achieve this, I thought the best way it would be actually to make a nice feature, a thicker island, uh, worktop on the island uh, to add extra a uh, couple of centimeters of the height so that it will be more comfortable to use. And then I bought from the local uh, timber yard uh, beach and iroko to make it. Of course I used the opportunity to buy a few clumps and few other pieces of kit to make it happen. Because of the overall size and weight I made it in two separate uh, pieces and then I glued them together. However I had to use on few occasions help from the friends to be able to lift it and chuck it on top of my car because it was just too heavy. And then of course I used uh, Ian in Ilkeston in UK to help me out with sanding so that the whole process was a fairly easy, I wouldn't call it a breeze, but it was quite nice and easy to achieve a flat top and bottom surface of so many pieces cut on my miter saw. And then of course using his massive uh, table saw we squared off the edges so I was really pleased with the outcome. Once I got home, it was time to add rounded edges to provide a small radius uh, to make the softer uh, edges. And that is the set of brackets that I used. However, in the process of doing so, you can see this nice groove. And what happened is actually the ball bearing uh, just disintegrated and I made the gouge in the middle of it. And luckily, with a bit of sanding, I managed to sand it off and no one would ever know uh, that it was there. And then it was time to apply uh, on both sides the same amount of number of layers of uh, Osmo oil. You can see that the end grain is soaking up quite a lot of Osmo. So I had to do, I think it was at the time, nine or 10 uh, layers, which was time consuming, but I thought let's preserve it and make it as robust as possible. However, uh, time will tell and uh, effectively within a year and a half, I had to redo it. But at that time we were uh, living uh, almost on site. So we had to redo the living room, kitchen, and it was still a massive project. And I tried to squeeze it in between working from home and all other household activities. Anyway, once it was fitted, I was over the moon with the outcome, new kitchen, new island. Then it was, go, of course, tested by kids. We got a stamp of approval from kids. They were happy. And what's more important, my partner was happy with the finished product. So everyone is happy. Now, fast forward a year and a half later, and the kitchen uh, island uh, was quite tired after having so many pizzas and other stuff cut, chopped on it, and it was time to recondition it. Thanks, mom, for helping out with applying another set of Osmo oil to it after all that sanding. So, a year and a half in, and it was the first time that I had to recondition the worktop. And again, I love when the Iroko uh, colors grain just come to life. And now again, fast forward another year and a half, and we are in July 2024. And you can see that the top is getting tired. And you can see the dull uh, beach with marks on the timber. So it was time to heat it with a sander again. Uh, initially, I thought I would go with just 120 upwards, but I had to go to 80 grit and then even on some occasions to 60 grit just to take off all the layers of old uh, oil and just to refresh it. So 
in between uh, the coats uh, I was using uh, mineral oil uh, just to wipe up an excess of the dust and just make the whole process slightly better. In the meantime, of course, I produced crazy amount of dust, so the whole kitchen is just a mess, but hey ho, it is what it is. So uh, I will save you watching me sanding the whole lot so many times, but I went through different grids. And now it is time to fill up all the voids and cracks. And I was pouring quite a lot of uh, glue, and then I realized, oh shit, uh, this crack is actually all the way through, and there was a little bit of a glue going down so i managed to wipe it off the floor so don't mention this to my partner anyway uh, i had to fix a few more cracks after three seasons winter summer winter summer uh, the cracks uh, were small but i thought let's use this opportunity uh, to patch it up and make the whole worktop nice again so this crack i actually filled already a year and a half ago and I just had to reach, retouch it just to seal it off again. And uh, once I started to sand, uh, or actually before sanding the whole lot, I went again and as you can see there are a few more minor cracks. So I used the dust from the oscillating sander and CA glue uh, to fix it. And then of course I applied a little bit of the activator to set it, set it off. So that's the super glue activator and the star bond thin um, glue. The only downside when you do this with your fingers is that you have a thick layer of glue and the sawdust and you struggle to unlock your phone later on when you have a call. So make sure that you leave at least one finger clean before you do it. And somehow it doesn't work with gloves. And then uh, I went through all the other grids just to uh, sand it off. Again, I'm not showing you all of it. Uh, you get the gist of what's happening. So I went through again 120, 180 and 240 grid. And it is time to test a new product, which is a Clark's uh, two pack. One is uh, oil and then a final finish is with wax so that's what i will be applying in a second it came from amazon around 20 odd quid and i have to say that it smells really nice it has this citrus uh, orangey uh, smell to it which is quite nice and this is the two pack oil and wax both really easy to apply so what I can say as my initial uh, feedback on the application is that, first of all, make sure you remove the cup and unscrew the protective film. What a moron, I couldn't make it work initially. <coughs> Happens. Anyway, but once you manage to open the bottle, uh, it is that easy to apply. It's very easily applicable. You just wipe it on and with the end grain, the wood just absorbs this very, very quickly. So overall, I think I went through this nine, 10 times. So I have applied uh, 10 coats of oil and I was quite generous uh, with it. On few occasions, I wiped off the excess of the Iroko because the beach was absorbing quite a lot, Iroko a little bit less. So to avoid any uh, patches or anything uneven, uh, I was wiping off access usually after half an hour to an hour and it's really satisfying to see how the grain and the colors go so vivid and just beautiful especially on the Iroko. I like Iroko way more uh, than the beach but as a combination it works fine and then I used a little bit of hot water just to soften up uh, wax before the application and again uh, I didn't go on with recommended uh, applicator I just bought uh, or actually took the normal kitchen sponge and apply with it and it did the trick. Application quite easy and probably wiping it off was a little bit more uh, hard going but again uh, quite a breeze and you can see a nice details how the timber came back to life so I'm really pleased and the final outcome 
is amazing. I'm quite happy across effectively uh, two days. I managed to apply all the codes and it's looking amazing. Thank you for watching.